Yo, what is going on everybody and welcome back to another Valheim part 6 and in this episode I'll be mostly finishing up the uh, house and as you can see I finished the entire frame off camera and gathered some more materials for the rest of the build and also the um, hearth and home update just came out it's the first major update to come to this game finally and it's pretty exciting. I mean, they added some good new building blocks, uh, more furniture. Um, and the biggest gameplay change they made was the to the stamina and the health system. And I'll talk about that in a second. But as you can see, we got all these um, support systems here. And this is pretty much like the biggest, um, tallest, I, I should say, um, wooden structure you can make. So at the very top here... The roof tiles are pretty much almost bright red, so they're about to break, but not quite, so that's fine. Um, but all the supports, especially the diagonal supports that I have um, towards the bottom, are what make this um, possible here. Um, but anyway, so with the Hearth and Home update, they changed the stamina and the health and the food, so they added a whole bunch of new recipes for food. Um, they made... Um, deer meat and boar meat two separate things so all the meat that I have already is just counted as boar meat and then also there's deer meat that they added specifically and probably a whole bunch of other stuff I'll get into later um, but the biggest change is with the food is that everything has either a white fork a yellow fork or a red fork next to it um, depending on if it gives more health more stamina or an equal amount of both um, so that'll be pretty interesting, um, toying around with the new food system and trying to see what food works best for us in different situations. Um, so that's pretty much it with the new update. They didn't really add a whole lot. Thankfully, um, I can still be on the same world because they didn't change any enemy. They didn't add any bosses or enemies or any new biomes. Um, hopefully in the next update, whenever that is, they'll be adding a lot more to that. Um, but so far we can um, stick to this world for now and everything works perfectly fine. It was actually really good timing. Um, now that we're finishing up the house we can maybe add in some new decorations that they added uh, moving forward. But other than that this will be you know another building episode for the most part. Um, definitely a lot more resource grinding to be had. I need a lot more bronze so that I can get some nice weapons and all that and also I um, defeated some more trolls so I think in the next episode we'll mostly be making new gear and um, planning ahead from there maybe going into the swamp who knows but for now just uh, sit back and enjoy another speed build
All right, so now that I have the um, exterior mostly built here, I'll take a little tour of what I got going on so far. So of course we got uh, the roof fully built. Uh, we can go all the way up, all the way down. Over here, I have a little, um, basically just a little chimney. Um, this is kind of the best way I could figure out how to have smoke coming out. Um, I could make something like at the very top and the very middle with smoke coming out. But I do have a second floor, so we got a um, couple balconies on each side. We go in here, it's pretty empty so far, but here's our little fire pit. Um, eventually we can have stone hearths in here, that'll look a little better. But for now we got all the cooking needs that we have here, a couple of cauldrons. Um, for that, all we can make is queen's jam right now, which gives mostly stamina, so that'll actually be helpful because... Right now, the only thing we have that gives stamina, really, is raspberries, which um, don't last very long. And they're kind of hard to get. Like, at this stage of the game, you know, usually when you're exploring the map, that's when you gather the most berries and all that. It's pretty easy. You just, you know, you just get it when you see it. Um, but now, when I have to go out and gather mushrooms or berries, it's really kind of a painstaking task where that I really have to be looking for them and just kind of go everywhere um so queen's gem might be a pretty good food item but we'll see um we got a little bit of wood left over um we got let's let's take a look at what we can build right now um so they added a couple new wood stacks and a coal pile which you can have just makes that a little easier you can have gold stacks coin stacks and there's a cartography table which, as far as I know, all that really does is let you, um, I, I guess it just kind of lets you share your map with other people. I'm not really sure how that works right now. Um, we'll have to get into these upgrades a little more, try to upgrade our, um, our forge and our crafting table a little more. Um, in terms of building, um, we don't have too many more options at the moment. Um, they added upside down walls. Hold on, my fan is my fan is having a bit okay, a bit of trouble there. Um, there's not too much that's new that we can actually make right now <clears throat> until we get iron, I believe. But we got some things here and there. They added one by one walls, um, just little quality of life things, I suppose. Um, but that'll still help. Um, so I'll be mostly filling this in with uh, the crafting and all that. Um, let's take a look upstairs. So for these stairs, I tried to make it out of these wood stairs, which are a little bit nicer, a little bit nicer to walk up. But it just wasn't really working out with these uh, all these supports. I just couldn't really find a good configuration for that. But I got these basic stairs in, and we got a whole second floor that we can work with. It's got the little balconies and all that good stuff. But yeah, that's really about it so far, what I've done. Um, and it's, it's coming along pretty well. So next, um, after I finish this, I kind of want to... Um, since this is totally surrounded by water, pretty much... I can make pretty much just a, an entire moat that goes around here. And these crafting benches, I think I'll keep these for now because anything that's in range of a crafting table, uh, no enemies will spawn and any uh, loose items you have in here, like any any dropped items will just stay forever. They, they will never despawn as long as they're in range of a crafting bench. So that's pretty convenient. Um, so I'll probably keep those for now. But yeah, that's about it, and we'll see what we do next. Alright, well I've got most of the interior finished up now with what I could do. Um, and I'm at night time right now to show off some of the lighting. Um, before too many enemies spawn, that is. So we go on in here. I don't actually quite have everything set up in here, but I got uh, most of the furniture. So we got our little bed set up. Um, we got a deer rug and a little bit of furniture. Um, and right now we're sitting at comfort level 9. 
which is pretty good. Uh, the comfort level basically just correlates to how good of sleep you get, how good the uh, well-rested buff that you get, and how long it lasts. So the higher that is, the better sleep you get, and the better, well, you know, the more well-rested you are. So the more furniture, the more random stuff we got here, um, the better. So we got this little area set up here. We got some chests um, for food ingredients. So we got plants and berries and mushrooms. Um, I just found this. I, I think I got it from one of those shamans uh, that I killed just a minute ago. Um, and it looks like this, uh, well it's a new item, obviously, and so basically you just throw up all the food that you have eaten, um, I guess in case you want to reset your food, so that's pretty interesting. I uh, wonder if there's any recipes for that, um, but we got some berries, this will be for like finished food, and then we got all of our meat down here. Um, and we got all these torches, looks pretty nice. I actually went through pretty much that entire night uh, finishing this up. I didn't really get attacked by that many things, although I did see I did see some brutes chilling over there. Thankfully, they could not get over here. But yeah, this is looking pretty nice. Extra stone. Uh, we moved our wood supplies in here. Just got some excess wood. Um, here's the main storage so we got all of our leather here we got 20 troll hide i think we've killed five yeah we've killed five trolls now um, i killed four of them off camera i think i might have footage of killing a couple of those but um excess material gold um all of our resin and gray beard gray dwarf eyes which these are actually used to make portals um, which portals will be pretty useful at some point so that we don't have to walk to and from areas we might oh yeah we'll probably set up a portal right at the guide stones here and then have one at our base so on and so forth um, we got all of our saplings and seeds um, here's all of our trophies we got a few shamans we got four troll trophies which these are actually pretty massive i mean it's an entire troll head um so eventually we could have some trophies sitting up around here um we got our boss chest which is like items for sacrificing as well as any excess boss items we might have um the rest of the materials here flint bones feathers that sort of stuff got our metal ingots um, so next episode, I'm going to be getting a lot more tin and copper, make some bronze. Uh, there's, a, there's a few items I want to make here. If we actually just go over to this forge really quick, um, we can take a look at what we can make in terms of bronze. And there's quite a few things. So there's multiple different weapons here. The mace, uh, a spear, a sword. But the weapon that I'm going to make is the at gear. Now this is a proper spear. Um, it actually has a lot of range, a lot of damage. A nice uh, special attack. Um, so we'll be getting that. That This is a uh, weapon here is going to help us hopefully help us get through the swamp and just do some extra damage. Um, we could make armor, but here's the thing um, after this lag. So the troll leather right now is one of the best armor in the game in my opinion. It's pretty good in terms of armor by itself. You can upgrade it. So eventually we can have upgraded troll armor. But if you have the full set, as you can see, if you have the full set, it makes you more sneaky. Sneak plus 25%. So that is a huge buff. If we can get, um, I think we have enough troll hide for the whole set. But that'll be for next episode when we gear up and go out on another expedition, probably to the swamp. But yeah, yeah, I think I'm going to go to the, the swamp next episode. Um... Oh, what are you doing, little guy? Yeah, you better you better just stay away. You don't want to die, do you? Anyway, so that's about all I have for right now. We got some basic furniture in here. The house is pretty much complete. And I've got a lot more planned. Um, but for right now, I do want to focus on the swamp and start to get more progress on that. Because 
Uh, the first two bosses I have fought before, so those weren't too hard. I kind of just knew what I was doing. But here is where uh, we're going to be entering new territory. I've been in the swamp before. It's really dangerous, and um, I was never able to find the third boss location. So that'll be new to me, and I've never fought the third boss. And I haven't even really looked at any videos. I've seen someone like doing some kind of exploit on the boss. But I won't be doing that. I'll be fighting the, the all the bosses legit. Um, but the third boss, I am honestly really scared of the third boss. That is when, uh, well, for a lot of players, the third boss is the hardest in the game. Simply just because the swamp is so hard to navigate. And you might get unlucky. You might get, just get a really bad area for the boss. Um, but yeah. So that's about it for now. Um... I'll probably call it right here actually um, so anyways if you enjoy this please like and subscribe um, be on the lookout for the next attack on titan map update it's taken a little bit because it is actually quite a bit of work getting these new districts in order um, creating the walls themselves wasn't too bad but now i'm basically finishing up the details on the walls the gatehouses and all that and that's taken a bit of time but it is well worth the wait I um, hope you guys are excited for what I have planned for the Attack on Titan Minecraft map because it's going to be awesome. Anyways though, I hope you all are having a good one and I'll see you next time.